we, we can come over here and then we can go back again well it may look interesting but this is not what we want actually once you are done with this page over here once you are done playing here you can do left and right it doesn't really matter and after that when you are here you don't want to go back you don't want to say this go back button now how to work with this now we do see that in our welcome to dart class over here so this is the place where it goes to new page to right so once i'm here when i click on this actually this gesture detector gets triggered and we fall to this condition and this is the condition that takes me to that page now we need to make changes here and how to make change well definitely the first thing we want to go to a different route okay and then we want to remember we want to forget the earlier routes we don't need any of them now for this reason what we need to do we can just comment this out over here and let's uh, come over here and uh, we'll define a new route over here i mean new way of doing routing we still use navigator dot off and then we would use context and after that here we would use push push named and remove until this one okay so over here you need to mention your route name so what's my route name here my route name is my home page all right and this one in general you want to set it to false it doesn't really matter well with this it makes sure that until you hit this one every other route is removed okay so this called i think they call it predicate so which means that until you hit this one okay keep removing all the routes okay now of course if we go ahead and run this we'll hit error because the problem is this route name over here is not defined anywhere else in our app so uh, flutter really doesn't know where to find this route okay so for this reason if you use push named and remove until you have to define your app routes and how can we do that definitely we can do it inside this material app over here now we already have a home page defined so over here we can use the routes properly and which takes a list of routes so here you just simply mention your route name my home page and that's your route name and then over here you need to pass the context and after passing the context the route related page or screen you need to mention and that's my home page and that's it and let's work on this okay now in this case const you can't use and the arrow should be gone you may use const here and which could be helpful and good for uh, uh compile okay anyway so now let's go ahead and hit this button now we'll see how it works so we're gonna go ahead and click on them and then this is the button now yes we do hit another error okay so here it says that well we do have problem with this so just let's remove the slash okay let's try it one more time okay beautiful now over here you see that there is no go back button and this is the default behavior of an app where you have onboarding screen and once you're done with onboarding screen you can remove all of your routes the earlier routes okay and they are all removed and you can do it using the flutter native way which is using push named and remove until